You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. First this morning, tracking severe weather. Storms moving through the metro, bringing down trees and causing flooding. We're here to bring you the latest and help keep you safe. Let's give you the perspective from the road. Ariana Manise is in the Thunder Truck. Ariana, you've run into some flooding this morning. What are you seeing now? Yeah, good morning, Cheryl. Now, most of the flooding that we've been seeing has been on surface roads and underpasses. We are on the ice. We are on I-75 South headed towards the connector. And as you can see, the rain is steady at this point. The windshield wipers working overtime. Now, we've been driving around since 430 this morning. And like I mentioned, most of the flooding and standing water has been on surface roads and underpasses. Take a look at this video. This is a car that we came across. It was submerged underwater on Glen Street in Southwest Atlanta. And once again, this is why you really need to take your time and use caution as you're headed out this morning. Um, the volume of cars are starting to pick up as we've been out this morning. Um, and until the sun comes up at this point, you just don't know how deep that water is. And as Chelsea mentioned, more rain is coming, so be prepared for a messy morning commute. Back to you. Ariana, thanks. Take a look at this new video. It shows how the storm knocked down trees overnight in Noonan. Take a look at the front of that house. You can barely see the front door. And, you know, I can't see damage in Noonan without thinking about the tornado in March of 2021. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news today, jury selection begins in the trial for Atlanta rapper Young Thug. Prosecutors say he is the founder and leader of the Young Slime Life gang. At least eight out of the original 28 defendants have already taken plea deals, including fellow rapper Gunna and Young Thug's brother. Atlanta police are searching for a driver they say hit and killed a nine-year-old boy. It happened just after 6.30 last night near the Roselle Fawn Recreation Center. The driver of the car took off. Call police if you have information. Atlanta City Council is moving forward with a program to provide gun owners with free lock boxes. They're hoping to cut down on the number of stolen guns as well as overall crime. More than 200 guns were stolen from cars in Atlanta last year. This week marks two months of Grady Hospital serving as the only level one trauma center in Metro Atlanta. This morning, Molly Oak has a closer look at how the hospital is stepping up to meet the growing needs. Since the closure, Grady is the city's only level one trauma center. Take a look at your screen. Here are some statistics Grady gave us yesterday. Since this summer, it says the number of trauma patients treated at Grady increased by 20%. The hospital is also seeing a 40% increase in babies born at Grady, plus an increased demand in NICU care. Hospital leaders say Wellstar AMC previously provided a lot of OBGYN services. Now a substantial amount falls on Grady. Now we reported the state's plan to give $130 million to Grady to increase bed capacity. Yesterday, Grady gave us an update saying that's under construction. More than 180 beds should be here shortly. Guys. All right, we're looking at, uh, well, things coming down. By the time we get to noon, I think we'll have mostly cloudy skies by then. Temperatures right around 68 degrees going up to about 70 for an afternoon high. We'll start to see some sunshine breaking out as well. Those winds will start to shift to more westerly once we head toward the evening. Temperatures right around 63 degrees with partly cloudy skies by 6 with clear skies later on tonight. More sunshine coming our way for the next couple of days, but temperatures will be much lower back to where they should be for this time of year. So the messy commute continues, so does the bad weather. So we will keep our team coverage going for you right now on 11alive.com and 11alive+. Plus. Please stay safe out there. We are hearing about delays and cancellations at the airport. A few problems with school districts in Gordon and Habersham counties having some cancellations and delays. Again, we'll keep covering all of that for you right now on 11alive.com and 11alive+. Plus. For national news, we hand it over now to the Today Show.